Well, first, I'd like to thank you very much for inviting me and giving me this opportunity to talk about the book. So let me just give a little bit of an overview uh, of the book. Uh, of course, the subject of it is J. Robert Oppenheimer, who was a theoretical physicist, but he's more known for being the father of the atomic bomb. He's the subject of the book. And the focus of the book is to look at his views on uh, science, culture, and the nuclear revolution. That's the main thrust of the book. The book is not a biography. It's not a history. It's not philosophy in a traditional sense. What it is, is in some sense, it's like a philosophical biography. And let me just elaborate on that just a little bit. It really breaks in two dimensions. One of them is to set forth his views on the nature of science, culture, and the nuclear revolution. But I have to recover those views. I actually have to go out and find those views. And I focus on his views in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. And I look for what's of general philosophical interest. The second may be dimensioned is to actually to use philosophical ideas from contemporary philosophers, not only to look at his thought, but to look at Oppenheimer himself. So that's the thrust of the book. So it's to look at his views himself with an approach of philosophical biography. I think it's safe to say, I would say this, that I break new ground here on Oppenheimer. Uh, there have been a number of biographies written on Oppenheimer by very, very good scholars. But no scholar has seriously looked at what Oppenheimer was saying in public, in his articles, in some of the letters, in trying to put his ideas together, his sort of philosophical ideas about science, culture, and the nuclear revolution. Fact is, some scholars would hold that he should not be considered as a serious thinker. I think I would agree that he's not a systematic thinker, that he didn't write it down. But he had an engaging effort. It was sustained over time. It was wide ranging. And I think what the book shows is that there is more coherence in his thought and also the way it related to his own life than has been appreciated amongst the Oppenheimer scholars.